Hey, just stay for a minute. Lay your body on the bed, spend a day or two in it. If I hit you on the road, then I'm tryna get in it. You my baby, you my girl, so you all in my business. Late night doing shows on the road with my niggas. Smoking pound after pound, keep a polo to with us. Ay. I'm so into you. Ay. Oh, baby, I'm so into you. Throw that ass back. Let me text you later. God. What's up, the subscribers? Listen, y'all, I told y'all we back again with another reaction. Now, by the time y'all see this video, I'm pretty sure y'all didn't already watch the video. I did something bad live at the rep reputation reputation tour. I don't know why I can't say that word sometimes. <laughs> but listen, if y'all like that video, make sure y'all like it, comment, subscribe, and go share it to the world. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because we dropping that one. Well, for today, we're dropping that one today. But this video is dropping tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So back to back, boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm talking about? But listen. I got the biggest Swifty in the world. You know what I'm saying? This is my cousin again. You know what I'm saying? Vea. You know what I'm saying? The number one Swifty I know. I know it's a million Swifties out there that might think they're the biggest ones. But this is the biggest one I know right here. You know what I'm talking about? She always, you know what I'm saying? A busy person. But she long, you know. Listen, she's on the road to uh, Swiftiness. You know what I'm saying? The Swifty lands. But listen, y'all. We got Castles Crumbling. Taylor's version. She said this is a fire song. It's one of her favorite songs as of right now. She's been listening to it a lot so if y'all new to the channel press that like comment subscribe and we go see what they talking about on this one and uh we go break it down i already like the beat i like how that's really catches yeah. Now, I'm gonna get my intake real quick because I already know you know what the song is about. Mm -hmm. But personally, I feel like <clears throat> she's been at the top so long to the point where people try to break her down. And that's what she's saying when her castle is crumbling down because she's feel like everybody is hating on her. And it got to a point where like the little Kanye situation and other situations where like her relationships that didn't work out or the fact that Kanye and them tried to lie on her and the world turned on her at one point and she lost a lot of fans at that point. Until they found out the truth, her castle was breaking down, and then she had to let it be known when she came back. You know, that's how she said she used to be great when everything was going good, but when all that happened, the castle broke down. Am, am I on the right track? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> see, I'm a Swifty cousin. Yeah. Listen, I, I knew it just just based off her wording. Like, I don't know why, but with Taylor Swift reactions, I feel like I can understand everything she's going through and what she's saying. Some artists I'll be listening to it, I'll be like, what the H-E double hockey sticks are you talking about? Like, it's just the same genre of music, you know what I'm saying? It's like stuff that, that shouldn't be in the world, to be honest. It shouldn't be music. Unnecessary. Yeah, it's like, come on, nobody want to listen to this all the time. But with this, I like this. I feel like I can understand her. I really can get the vibe of what she's going through, the pain, the agony in her music. Like, it makes me feel like I'm going through this and I'm not. And that's what I like about listening to her music. That's why I do so many of her reactions now because at this point, she's taking over my channel and I love it. All because of these type of songs right here. Oh. What a beat. Back, the crowd was on your side. But I pushed it 
talking about right there she held the grudge but she she took it too far what grudge did she hold i think she's maybe talking about kanye west oh i she might be. listen there ain't nothing wrong with that taylor you ain't take it too far you can hold that grudge for 20 years if you need to girl ain't nothing wrong with that what he did was messed up it was yeah. there's no point that he had to lie on her and then on top of it what made me mad because at that point i didn't really listen to a lot of taylor like the only song i knew was um you're on a home. Yeah, that was my favorite song at the time. So that's the only one I really knew about her. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how big she really, really was at that point. And when he went on stage and took the award, for, uh, award from her and said somebody else deserved it over her. Now she that was 19 too. Yeah, like that's a kid, bro. For you to sit there and try to break her down at that young of an age. And at the same time, she was dating that one dude that was like 32. John Myers, I think. Oh, maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she was dating him at that time. So, or I don't know if they were together at that time, but she was going through a lot as a 19 year old to be going through all of that and still progress to be one of the biggest artists in the world mm. is crazy. But it's like, I wouldn't even say that you was holding a grudge and you took it too far. You did what you had to do. You took a year off, you came back and you killed the game. Like, honestly, I, I tell everybody things happen for a reason. He did all that and it backfired. And it made her an even better artist, made her music 10 times better. Even when um, her music got stolen from oh, yeah. the, what? the first the first six albums. Yeah, like they stole the music. She had to rewrite everything. Mm -hmm. All that just did was put you in your bag to make you write everything better. And you came back bigger and better. So, yeah, all the people hurt you and took you through all that. But it made it, it was for the best. I'm not going to say I wish that upon anybody, but some people don't get through things like that and come back the way you did. And it shows your grit, your talent, and everything to get back to where you are and still be on top. And yeah, you got two Swifties in the car over reacting mm -hmm. to it. Show them the Swifty bracelets. Just show them the Swifties. I have a few different bracelets that like have different albums on it and then this one too. I have more, but I didn't want to wear so much. She didn't want to overdo it, y'all. She didn't want to let y'all know how big of a Swiftie is. She got a lot, you know what I said? She got the cardigan on. Oh, yeah. Like... I got this whipsy and the whipski with me. I said, I feel good right now. I'm over here supposed to be working my nine to five and I'm doing some whippy reaction. Listen, that's how you know I love Taylor. You could tell she was going through what she made this. She know you don't want to know me now. Oops. Hold on, yes. listen, sis. Oh yeah, sis, Sorry, go out the way. Sorry, y'all. I like how she said you don't want to know me now because that was at like her lowest point in life. Look at me like I'm a monster. It's crazy how somebody can ruin your life that bad for the world to look at you and that paint you in that type of picture. Most people would go and like she she left for a year. Most people would leave for a year and not even come back at all. Mm -hmm. And it just gave up on everything. And she did not. And that's one thing I love about Taylor. That she came back and let the world be known. And she not she did not just only come back. She came back, like you said, with facts and receipts. Yeah. That's how you know she was. She didn't leave just to leave. She she left and was like, all right, let me get a world a year. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let them think what they want to think. And I'm going to come back with 
facts all day. And she came back with facts, new music, and killed the game. Everyone was shocked, too. I'd be shocked. Yeah. Because, like, how did you come back from that? How did you bounce back from that? That's mm -hmm. like a, let me put it in sports terms. Somebody tears their ACL, a.k.a. let's go with Adrian Peterson, if y'all know who that is. Towards ACL, you think when you come back off an of ACL injury, you're not going to be the same. And then he came back and won MVP. That's how you know, like, the bounce back was meant for her. It was that crazy of a bounce back. We almost done. Uh, two minutes. My cousin mom's outside. Listen, listen, listen. We Swifties and all, but I told you she busy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I tell her she like, uh, she got to go catch a flight or somewhere, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> to London and all this. That's how busy she is. But listen, I'm glad Taylor bounced back the way she did and became who she still is. Because we wouldn't be in the car doing these reactions if she never did to come back and kill a game like she did. Yeah. Damn. These yeah. songs just keep getting better. <laughs> Every time. Like, yeah. I think I've done the, the deepest of the songs she's ever done and the best songs. And then, bam, I listen to another one. I'm like, damn, this one don't compare to the other one. It's that good. <laughs> it's like, usually artists have, like, top ten songs that are fire. I think every one of her songs is good. Like, great. Mm -hmm. Like, her song catalog is better than... Damn, there are all these artists that's out here in 2024. You didn't deserve it. Nobody down, girl. Cap television make me almost want to cry when I listen to her reactions. Listen, Taylor, I don't care what nobody says at that time. I would have loved to know you at that time. I understand you was going through a dark time in your life, and it's hard to get out of a dark place, especially when you're going through it at that time. But you prevailed, you got through it, and now look at you. You know, your name is one of the most talked about names in the world. You're the most viral person in the world. <laughs> Every time you pop up at a football game, they talk about you more than the football game. I just hope you continue to progress and continue being amazing and continue just killing the game. I don't know how old she is. I don't know if she's, she's like... 34. 34? You 34? She just turned 34, December 13th. She don't even look 34. I ain't gonna cap. I thought she was like 29, maybe 30. Mm -hmm. Damn, 34? You got me beat by a couple years. I'm about to be 28. <laughs> uh, damn, Taylor, listen. I hope my age ain't nothing but a problem if you and Travis don't work out. You're not talking about... <laughs> Listen, y'all, press that like, comment, subscribe. Listen, we, me and Bea, love all you Swifties and appreciate y'all. Let us know if y'all want us to do some more reactions together and what reactions y'all want to see from us. Um, I'll still be doing some reactions by myself when I'm at home, but the ones y'all really want to see us do together, let me know. Uh, she's only available on Sundays, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I told you she's a busy person, you know what I'm saying? She damn near Taylor Swift's assistant damn near, you know what I'm saying? The way she know everything about her. Oh but my listen, god, I wish. <laughs> listen, we're gonna make that happen one day. The day I meet Taylor is the day you're gonna meet Taylor. Oh my god. And then boom. That would be so amazing. Lives are gonna change and everybody gonna know you now. <laughs> but listen, y'all, we love y'all and appreciate y'all. And uh yeah, we gotta get back to our busy schedule and I gotta get back to yelling at my coworkers. It's the wavy boys. <sighs> hey yo, it's the wavy boys. Got you. I killed the new uh, LeBron. Uh, Steve. Oh. Hey, yo. It's the wavy boy. You feel me? Hey, when I tell y'all we up next, we up next. Yeah, we is. You feel me? I need all y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Look at all our videos. You know what I'm saying? We're the latest trio out right now. You know what I'm saying? Don't mess with us. You feel me? You feel me? It's the wavy boys.